A Panama City man may be getting some help with his sewer problems, but it could be much longer for others who may find themselves in the same situation. As News 13's Erica Orsted tells us, city leaders are just beginning a remodel of the entire sewage system. Saturday morning, I literally had raw sewage in my bathtub because of it. Resident Donald Hodge says the lift station near his house on 14th Street hasn't worked properly since July. Every time it rains or something over floods, it's backing up into a line that's going to my house. Other neighbors say the backflow pump that's installed is noisy. 4.30 a.m. Hodge says he's brought the issue to City Hall multiple times, all with the same response. It's because my pipe's old, but my line doesn't act up until it backflows. City workers were at the lift station on Monday after he brought it up again. Well, they've got one pump supposedly working now, but that wasn't until after I told somebody that I was going to the news. City leaders say the lift station should be repaired by next week, but it's all a part of a much bigger problem. All these red dotted lines are, are areas where we've got sewer issues. Assistant City Manager Jared Jones says they're working to overhaul the sewer system citywide, which was troubled before Hurricane Michael, but is now much worse. Before Hurricane Michael, we chased roughly a, a dozen leaks a month. Right now, it's over a dozen a day. Jones says a lot of work has gone into a plan to repair those issues over the next five years through multiple funding sources. Part of the plan is installing better alarm systems at lift stations to alert the city to issues like those Hodge has been fighting. It needs to be fixed because it shouldn't be my problem to have to clean it up all the time. City leaders say they've identified the funding sources for the $200 million overhaul project and are working on applications. In Panama City, Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong.